Hi guys and welcome to Isle of Indies. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Treasures of the Aegean, a time looping action platformer that takes inspiration from a whole host of games and genres. So what type of game are we dealing with here? Well, it feels a bit like a roguelite and looks and plays like a metroidvania with its sprawling interconnected map. It also shares similarities with Zelda The Majora's Mask and Indie Darling Minute, where you're given a set time to complete objectives and solve puzzles before things reset. Perhaps though, Treasures is more similar to platformers such as The Prince of Persia and Mirror's Edge with its fast-paced parkour style acrobatics. Add to all of this a comic book art style reminiscent of Tintin and Asterix, as well as an appreciation for all things Indiana Jones and Lara Croft, and you have one of the most creative indies of the year. The plot revolves around a lost civilization, a volcanic eruption, and a couple of treasure hunters. The player takes control of Marie Taylor, a parkour specialist who's dropped off into the volcano by helicopter at the start of the game. After discovering a few relics and murals, the volcano becomes unstable and you become trapped in a Groundhog Day style time loop, doomed to repeat the same day over and over until you break the cycle. I went into Treasures of the Aegean blind and knew very little of the gameplay mechanics, so I was quite surprised when I found myself traversing the volcano again, this time with an added timer. It definitely takes a few runs to get into a floor and understand how the game works. You have a sort of journal or board for logging discoveries known as the Prophecy. There are over a hundred relics scattered around the map to collect, and you're likely to pick up a good handful in each loop. Each collected relic adds additional time to your next loop. You start off with around 14 minutes, but after around 10 loops I'd increased my countdown to 20 minutes, which definitely gives you much more time to explore before that big reset. Like a good Metroidvania, Treasures features a huge map to uncover. During a run, you use your phone's GPS to monitor your movements. When the volcano erupts and you get rescued by a helicopter, you drop your phone, which somehow is transported back to the past. Here, an ancient civilization uses the phone data to fully chart the area. On your next run, everything you previously visited has been fully sketched out and documented in color. It's a wonderful mechanic and one I've not seen before. The more loops you complete, the more the map starts to take shape and filling that map in is super satisfying. There's so much to love about Treasures of the Aegean. In between loops, the backstory is fleshed out through vibrant comic book cutscenes. Some of these flashbacks feature short playable levels, which include stealth and chase sections. These act as a lovely digression from the volcano exploring. Undercoders, the developers, have managed to meld all of the game's influences into something really unique. Like a good roguelite, you'll want just one more run. There's always something new to see or do, and the revelations come thick and fast. This is a game that really doesn't show its hand until you've played a couple of hours. By then, I guarantee you'll be hooked and desperate to uncover the Minoan mysteries and escape the time loop. This wonderful little game is out now on the PC and all major consoles. To keep up to date with all things indie gaming, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications so you never miss a video. That's it for now from me, I'll be back very soon with more indie gaming goodness. Until the next video, keep loving indies.